He's the voiceover studio engineer of the stars in Los Angeles, California. A Virginia Tech grad with a knowledge of recording studios unmatched in his field. He's a voice actor from Buffalo, New York, with 30 years experience in recording studios and behind the mic. He solves people's home voiceover studio problems in the blink of an eye. Together, there's no studio problem they can't solve, and they'll do it for you tonight. Welcome to East West Audio Body Shop. Now, live from a basement in Buffalo and an office in LA, here are Dan Leonard and George Whittem. Good evening, Good evening. I'm on. Dan Leonard in the East. And I'm George Whittem in the West. And together we are East, East West, West Audio, Audio Body, Body Shop. Shop. Well, good evening, everybody. We have a great show, you f show for you tonight. A little bit of a sad weekend. Um, you know, how do you deal with something like this and, you know, and, then, and then put on a show? But, you know, life has to go on. A terrible situation. Um, mm -hmm. We feel terrible about it. And what are you going to do? Uh, we can just look back and say, God, that is awful. What can we do to help you know those who are in need? And um, yeah, right now we can we got to look at how we can help, and then we got to look in the future on of how to prevent. That's right, and uh, and then too many questions, too many questions, and I and I know George, you know, mental health is an important thing to all of us, and I know you had some thoughts on that. Yeah, it was just I mean, there's a lot of very very heated gun control debates going back and forth. And, um, you know, that of course is something that needs to be discussed, but it's, uh, you know, it, it really does come down to how we take care of each other and how we look out for each other and how we pay attention to those around us. And we let people fester and get into these incredibly, uh, antisocial depressive states. And I'm not saying I don't, I knew what was going through this guy's head, but, um, you know, just look out for everybody around you. If you know somebody in your family that you haven't seen in a long time and has really kind of been reclusive or, you know, just check in on people and let people know that you're thinking about them, you care about them because, you know. You, know, you never know. It can't hurt. <laughs> no, no. It, 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 you know, you might, you might upset somebody, but you might, you know, you never know. You know what's what you know whose lives you might you might save in the process. So it's a tough situation, but let's all hang in there, crew. And uh, we have a show to do, and we've got some great stuff for you tonight. Uh, you know, we're going to we we have Lisa Biggs with us tonight. Mm -hmm. The little voice, big what's talent, the, big name. Yeah, too. Uh, she's she's a she's a trip, man. <laughs> She's going to be definitely one of the funniest people we've had on the show. I know. She's, she's just, she just loves how to have a good time. No pressure and, uh, or anything. I know. And she's joining us from Diane Merritt's house. Double whammy. Now, I, I know. She's in, she's in South Carolina. Gal gets around, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. uh, but not only is she going to be on, but she, we're going to talk about the Voxy Ladies, this great group that she's involved with. And the uh, they're, they're going to raffle off a couple of the prizes from the 12 Voxy Lady. What do they call this thing? <laughs> I, you know, perhaps if I wrote this stuff down before we, we went over this in rehearsal like four times, didn't we? we? No, no. We, we had a rehearsal. <laughs> no, there was no rehearsal, folks. This show is not rehearsed. Absolutely yeah, not. No, it's like the show ends. It's like, all right, what did we do? <laughs> We're never, never quite sure how it's going to go until it's gone. Exactly. Uh, uh, anyway, or what is what's the line from Big Yellow Tax? You don't have, don't know what you got until it's gone. Oh, okay. Right. Can't say I've seen that. Yeah, well, it was it was a great song. I, or heard and, that. <laughs> oh, okay. there you go. Fun, That's how much I know about that. <laughs> All right. So I'm just a slight generation, slight ahead of you. Yeah, uh, we're not. I mean, what what are we? What are we? Fifteen years apart? Something like that. It's amazing the difference in fifteen years. Yes, I know. I mean, but in like two weeks, I'm going to be on the real downhill slide towards sixty. <laughs> so i mean i mean it's like whoa you're gonna be 55 or 56 56 56 56 and i'll be 40 next year <laughs> and then all of a sudden your memory will start to go are you kidding me my memory's been going for 10 years i got a head start big trouble my <laughs> yeah, friend i'm screwed big that's trouble. why i use so many different types of technology to remember stuff i use this evernote software i use these thing called recall so i can talk into my phone and it reminds me to do stuff i, I can't remember anything i know two cell phone numbers i i use i use these things it's a pen oh what's that and a notebook oh <laughs> my official dave quavassier issue 
notebook. That, thing, that, is, that really actually was one of the, almost the nicest piece of swag ever. The nicest piece of swag was our magnifying glass. They are. Do you have any of those left? No, I, I, I might have one around here, but I think we, they're, they're all gone. Okay. Well, if you have them, you know. Collector's item. Them. Yeah, not and, only the eclat- and when you hit 40 and your eyes start to go on you, you're going to need them anyway, which is why <laughs> that was so popular. Anyway, we've got, we've got Lisa Biggs on tonight, and uh, yeah, what are you going to talk about? Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, analog mixers versus mixing in the box. Oh, so, good idea. Good yeah, idea. so software versus hardware, that kind of right. stuff. Yeah, and uh, my tip of the week, you do not want to miss. You yeah. really don't. There's a lot of elements to this one because there was a lot to think out about it. But we're going to yeah. talk about Mac versus PC. Flame flowers at the ready. It's they, yeah, there, and they, and I think they show up in this one. Uh, so <laughs> make sure you're around for that uh, in about uh, oh, 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, oh. And uh, we've got an interview tonight with Jeff Gelder, who's uh, with the Children's Hospital in San Diego. What's what's this all about? Yeah, I did the Holiday Magic CD. Right. They were at the Voice 2012 uh, conference, weren't they? They, I believe Jeff was yeah. there. Yes. Yeah, he was there. Um, so yeah, uh, Kathy, our producer, it's, this is her first, uh, on camera contribution to the show. She did an interview with him and, uh, I cut it together real fast before the show. So, uh, you know, I hope it's not too bad with the cuts and stuff, but, uh, I think I, it's going to be I'm, interesting. I'm at the ready. <laughs> exactly. No, yes. Somebody said, you have a producer? We do. We do. Kathy Curden is our Curden. producer, producer volunteering as well. And, uh, She's been, she's really been putting in the extra mile or going the extra mile to try to help us, you know, bring better guests to the show and coordinate guests. That's a lot of what she's been doing. And look, she got Lisa Biggs on. And she's got Lisa Biggs. (laughs) No, she's doing, she's fantastic. So everybody, you know, show her some love in the Facebook and the chat room and thank her for helping us out. We, we certainly do. But you know, she can get on camera. You guys can do it too. We've been asking. You want to submit a report or something you think that our audience would find interesting? Send it in. The least we can do is go, this sucks. <laughs> you know, I mean. You do watch the show, right? I mean, <laughs> you're watching it now, so you know where the bar is. So exactly. when you hit your head on it, uh, actually when it hits you in the knees, no, no, no it, please do. If you have uh, any, anything you might have had even in the can, maybe something you did an interview of somebody you liked a year or two ago, who knows? That's right. Send it in. There might be something that yeah. uh, we could use in the show. It'd be a lot of fun. Okay. Well, let's get into the home voiceover studios. Cause that's what we show up here for every week for some strange reason. Uh, analog mixers versus what? <laughs> right you know what we're we've, talking about we've talked about all this on the show many times about simplifying your studio what things do you really need in your studio and you know again for the majority of us out there you probably really don't need even you don't even need a mixer okay if, if your simple if your studio's uh, function is just to simply record your voice into the computer so that you can edit it and send it out you don't need a mixer so let me just start there don't need a mixer okay don't get a don't get one. Don't need one. Now, if you want to start uh, having more uh, accessibility to other outside of equipment, let's say you need to use a phone patch, um, a, you know, a phone hybrid or something like that, and because you, you still want to use a traditional POTS telephone line, your good old fashioned phone for your hybrid, um, you're going to start needing to bring some more equipment into the mix, and that's where a mixer comes in. Um, and of course, if you're going to use Source Connect. Um, it's helpful, or if you're going to use uh, ISDN, it's pretty much required that you have some kind of mixer. So for me, for someone that's been designing and teching studios for voice actors and a lot of busy, busy promo people that have to have like, you know, basically a hundred percent uptime. Um, I've been, it's been a big debate, do analog versus digital. Do you do everything with the good old fashioned sliders and pots and knobs? Or do you do it all inside the box, which basically means do you do it within something like Pro Tools and just do it all digitally? And my philosophy has always been to stick with the old school ways of using a physical analog mixer. And I'll summarize real fast why I've liked that that way of working. First of all, um, you have every knob button and dial and everything is physically in front of you on a surface that is visible and easily and quickly adjustable. Um, I'll talk to you. I'll, I'll mention later why that's also a bad thing. 
but uh <laughs> but you know everything's right there where you can grab a knob when you need to and uh, it makes it much faster to make adjustments on the fly it's also nice when you call me or Dan and you're saying something is not right on my mixer right now to be able to very quickly uh, just analyze what's going on on your end is it's fantastic for us to be able to do that and uh, do it just based off of what you see and also what we know of your equipment. Um, for me, I've got the Mackie 1202 mixer, 802, 1202, 1402, 1642. I have all of these mixers basically, I have them memorized. So when something's funny, as long as I understand the way your studio is laid out, I can say, push that knob or push, push that button, turn that knob, check this, check that. I, I can do it pretty quickly. So that has always been the reason why I've, I've, I've preferred it. Now, the other, here's the flip side of it. Um, it is harder to maintain because now you've got, you know, physical contacts and connections, buttons that get dirty, loose connections. And things that start gremlins that start showing up in your signal chain they get a little, that are a little harder to suss out at times. And uh, maybe ground hum. And the more equipment there is, the more things there is to go wrong and, and all that. So there's more to deal with. There's also small issues like little fingers that magically make it into the booth and magically push buttons when you're not looking um, <laughs> and really screw you up. There's that problem. There's also the issue of... Um, well, some of you are lucky enough to have cleaning people, cleaning staff, <laughs> and not us. But, you know, they get in there and they're cleaning. And, the, you know, I get I hear that all the time. Oh, a matter of fact, I think some people blame their cleaning people uh, unnecessarily. <laughs> I was in an agency the other day. Oh, I think it was the cleaning lady. Oh, the cleaning lady turned the two EQ base knobs exactly the same <laughs> and, and put them. I'm like, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> that's we, that's we, what we, it was we, we had somebody who was very well known in the business who <laughs> called us and was like in an absolute panic we won't mention any names yeah his initials no we won't yeah yeah no it, uh, how about the cat sat on my mixer um i've gotten that one many many times the cat sat on the mixer dusting per you know whatever there's a million excuses as to why the mixer can get screwed up so enter the uh digital mixer or say the in the box solution so that means now everything is in the computer or in some kind of hardware device where there is no physical control surface anymore. And um, the advantages are to me is that, first of all, every single setting is savable. So you can save everything as a preset for an instant recall. So if something gets funky, click a button, everything is back exactly where it was. So that is really, really awesome. And if you have more than one mode that you need to operate in, so sometimes you do Skype, sometimes Source Connect, whatever, you can uh, very, very quickly, just with a preset loaded up, you can get, uh, you know, switch from session to session very, very seamlessly. Um, there's no physical buttons, knobs, anything to get screwed up. There's no physical, well, there's some, there's going to be some contacts where, you know, you plug your mic into the interface, but everything else is virtual kind of inside the box and so there's a lot less physical equipment to maintain dust uh, clean contacts that kind of stuff um it also makes it easy for someone like myself to do maintenance um from afar or do updates or tweak things um i can log into your computer screen see the entire signal chain exactly how it's supposed to be remotely sometimes i can even make updates and send things to you over the internet and that is awesome for the for the remote support uh, aspect i love that downside again is uh now your entire studio is completely beholden to this system whatever it's based around you might be using pro tools uh you might be using um, there's this new piece of equipment I installed last week, which kind of triggered this hot topic of discussion called the Apollo. And it's this amazing audio interface for, you know, advanced studios that have lots of in and out. It has its own console where you can do all the routing and everything. And it's really sophisticated. Um, but, you know, again, if that goes haywire, you know, if something goes completely berserk, your whole studio is down. So if you really want to do an ISDN session today, uh, and your studio relies on this piece of equipment and software to work, you're kind of dead in the water. So you have to have, you know, an alternative or backup system. So each one has its pluses and minuses. Um, I've, as I'm getting to get more comfortable with the whole digital way of doing things and seeing how incredibly elegant it is and super clean and very quiet, 
I'm starting to get more and more interested in, in, you know, heading that direction. But it really does come down to what you're most comfortable with. Uh, if you really prefer fingers on dials and sliders, stick with the analog board for a while. Yes, you can get digital controllers that look like mixers, but that's a whole other story. But if you're welcome, if you're if you're open to trying new things and you don't mind having a second display with like a mixer on it that you control with your mouse, you know, maybe try something new. Yep. Uh, Tony asked a really good question because cool. everybody's always asking this. Um, and you never take a breath, so it's really hard for me to interrupt. No, that's the uh, whole point. <laughs> <laughs> You've learned not to breathe. <laughs> yeah, I'm a so filibuster. -er. I'll, I'll, I'll be jumping all over you. Uh, what's a good brand of mixer? Now, I've got my Yamaha YG10 sitting up here that mm -hmm. I only use for eWebs. Mm -hmm. um, but good. it's an analog mixer, probably 10 years old. Yeah, and you're good. What would you suggest since you're saying if you have a mixer, yeah. even though we keep saying you don't really need a mixer, but if you have to have a mixer, what mixer should they have? I um, just over the years, I have the most love for the Mackie mixer and it's not necessarily it, part of it's the quality of the mixer. I think it's good for the price, but it also has some really, really clever features that are not duplicated by almost any other mixer except the Behringer mixers, which are basically a cheaper, cheaper knockoff of the Mackie mixers. Right. Um, but uh, the Mackie mixers have some really clever routing for monitor stuff. It's got this thing called the Alt 3-4 bus, so that if you want to uh, listen to a phone, phone patch while you're recording your microphone, but not have the phone patch be in the recording, all you do is hit this mute button and you can still hear it in the headphones and it doesn't get recorded. There's little functions like that that are workflow signal routing features that are really unique to the Mackie mixers. Uh, like I'm right. talking about the 802, the 1202, 1402. For most people that need a simple mixer to interface with a foam patch, the 802 is a perfect little $200 right. mixer. Super clean, and even the preamps in it are, are really good. Right, and you really don't need a whole lot. I mean, unless you're doing something live, like George and I are doing right now, where we right. have different elements and you've got to mix a bunch of different things at once, um, you really don't need that. Uh, mm -hmm. Like you were saying, you can do it in software. Good luck doing a show like this in software completely. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, yeah, believe me, I, I've tried and explored every option, and uh, I I opted for a physical mixer. And I, you yeah. know, it has it has its issues. It's got some dirty pots. I need to clean it, but I can grab something really quick and adjust it with my hand. And I almost I don't even have to look at my mixer. I know what what's there. So that for me is a huge advantage. Oh, and All somebody right. said Soundcraft. Soundcraft is also very good. They have yeah. a very, very good reputation. You know, a lot of the companies are making Mackie level or Mackie quality or price competitive mixers, and all of them are made, are made in China now. So right. is there a big difference from one China Chinese component to another? I can't say. Probably not really that big. Um, but, you know, in the same price range, they're going to be similar. Um, but right. uh, Mackie is still my favorite. <laughs> Right, but you're not going to find a Mackie or a Behringer in a re in a major recording studio. Not usually. You're, no, you're you're going. To, I mean, these are these are designed for live performance type of stuff, uh, but they can route the signal. But they're totally mostly analog, and mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. you know. And I don't think I, I think we've heard we've heard from plenty of people that have tried to use the uh, uh, you know the 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 digital uh, the, the the mixers with the with the USB output. Right. And they've caused lots of problems. Yeah, some of them are not made very well. The only mixer I like with a built-in audio input input at this point is the Firewire, the Mackie Onyx brand. That's like right. the 820i. The Firewire, I think, in that it works really well. But that's that's about it. That's the only one I really like right now that I know is that I can really trust. All right. Mixers. Mm-hmm. We've talked about that, I think, on... Have we ever talked about that on Tip of the Week? We probably well, I, have. We, I think this we, is episode 75. I can guarantee I'm going to start looking back at old episodes for, for content yes. <laughs> pretty soon. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, we've got lots more coming up. Do you have your lottery tickets ready for, uh, you know, if you've got your raffle tickets for the, the Voxy Ladies drawing? We're going to be doing that in a little while with Lisa Biggs, although it's much nicer just having Lisa Biggs on. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful gal. Mm -hmm. Got my tip of the week coming up and announcements, so stay right where you are. We'll be right back here on East West Audio Body Shop. Stay where you are. VO Studio Tech. 
Recording made simple. Hi, I'm Peter McHugh. This is Jim Tasker from Los Angeles, California. Hi, this is Bill Ratner in Los Angeles. Hi, this is Scott Rummel here in Yorba Linda, California. Hi, my name is Rick Wasserman. Hi, this is Tom Kane. Hi, my name is Vanessa Marshall. Hi, my name is Zurich. Hi, I'm Mary McKittrick. Randy Thomas chiming in. Hi, this is Joe Szymanski. Hey, this is Rick Robles. Hi, my name is John Patrick Armstrong. I was turned on to George by none other than Don LaFontaine, who always swore by his help. George is absolutely awesome. ISDN, Source Connect, Phone Patch, FTP, you you name it, George has set it up. It's really the best thing I've ever done for myself. I feel free, safe, fearless, like anything is possible in here. Unless you like to look for opportunities to waste time, call George. And he did all of that, long distance over the phone and the internet. I'm very happy with George and uh, I cherish him. Thanks, George. You make it easy. And now, back to East West Audio Body Shop, where every week, it's Apollo 13. Ah, uh, no near disasters this week, I promise you. <laughs> it's now time for... Announcements! Announcements! <laughs> got me by surprise there. <laughs> All right, well, we got lots of announcements, but some fun stuff that uh, you guys are going to want to know about. First of all, the EWAB's virtual party of lights from our homes to yours. Yay. Yeah, next week we're going to have an eWebs Christmas party slash Google Hangout. So here's what you do next week. Invite your friends over, especially your voiceover friends, and have a voiceover eWebs party and then sign in, you know, and you know, register your party with us so we can invite you into the Google Hangout and we'll have this large virtual party. It's going to be a blast. See this? Why, why are the lights not going on here? Oh, there they are. I've got all the lights in our house on three separate wireless remote controls now. The front house lights, the one by the door, and the in the tree. Now it's pretty slick. Right. <laughs> so string up your lights. I'll get on my smoking jacket. I won't smoke. You know, I might be kind of steamy, but uh, but we're gonna have a great time. Uh, serve cocktails. Let's just have a good holiday party with eWebs because we don't get to get together with and party with you guys except every, you know, every, you know, six months to a, a year. year yeah. So why don't we have a virtual party next year? Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Or, or, or next week and uh, same time, same station. Uh, and uh, well, and also on Google uh, Hangout. And those of you that have done a Google Hangout with us, you know how. And if you haven't, We'll instruct you how, but email us. Let us know you're going to have a, an eWebs party next week, and we will get you on the Google Hangout. eWebshop at gmail.com. Thank you for reminding me that. All right. What else we got here? Uh, let's see here. The pop filters, you sh finally shipped the rest of them, you say? Yeah, finally. <laughs> Man, you guys, I'm so sorry it's <laughs> taking me so long, but they are uh, going out in the mail this week um, for the rest of you that haven't gotten them yet. Even you folks in Canada, they're coming up there. I can't believe you have to report customs for a uh, an item that weighs three ounces and costs twenty dollars. <laughs> Gosh, but it's done, and they're coming. Yes. Oh, uh, also, uh, you know, it getting a little late if you're gonna buy and you want to buy something for uh, for Christmas from the uh, East West Audio Body Shop yeah. shop. Uh, but be, however, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that celebrate Epiphany. There you go. So, which is what in July? No, it's <laughs> like in January. You know, for the, right. for you for you Eastern Orthodox folks. So right. you still have time. You can say we were celebrating Epiphany this year instead of Christmas and traditional day. But I wanted to get you an East West Audio Body Shop mug, T shirt, sweatshirt, <laughs> mouse pad, uh, you know, laptop case. Um, you know, we need we need seat cushions too. I think it's so travel mug. The travel mug the travel i know a lot of you guys out there have travel mugs mm -hmm. you know oh and, yeah uh, yeah th th this is the best mug i've used in a couple of years i'd say love it yeah. good quality yeah. yeah for hanukkah this year my son gave me a spongebob coffee travel mug because every morning when i drive him to school i have a regular cup of coffee and he's like dad you're gonna spill that I'm like, nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I haven't spilled it yet, but because he's so concerned, he got me a SpongeBob coffee mug, which I've yet to use, you know, and just in time for, for, for winter break. Uh, anyway, so you still have time to go do that. And, uh, also we're still looking for sponsors, you know, 
Harlan's still our sponsor. He still loves us. Boy, he I know is you loyal. guys do. He is a, a loyal sponsor, and uh, you know, there's there's some cool stuff with that. Also, and it's coming up, and I'm you know, I'm I'm making I've made this product announcement before. Uh, but Studio Suit, the amazing Studio Suit. Uh, that can go into your closet is going to be available. We're going to be able to custom tailor this special secret material that I have discovered. And if you've got a closet uh, uh, studio booth, we're going to be able to custom cut this stuff. Not very expensive, you know, but it works really, really well, which George will now attest. Yeah, no, it sounds fantastic because we've heard, you know, I've, I've listened to my wife proofing some audiobook that Dan uh, recorded and uh, she was impressed and my wife is picky and I listened to it too and I was like, yep, I mean, that's about the cleanest audio and some of the best acoustics you're going to hear recorded in an audiobook. So we'll have more information about that coming up. Mm-hmm. But now time for something that I worked very hard on this week because I definitely have some opinions about this. And I, and I know Diane Merritt's going to watch this one really tight. Uh, and we'll get her comments on it in a little bit. But anyway, here is my tip of the week. I'm not ready yet. What do you mean you're not ready yet? Oh, I was looking at the other, there was more notes I was going to read. Now forget. Oh, we'll get them later. Yeah, we'll get it later. Here it goes. Get, get the tip of the week. Mac versus PC. Every time you hear that, usually this is what happens. Why such contention? Because people believe what they want to believe. And until you try something new, you'll never know what's better, or at least different, about the other OS. Now, I don't make any bones about the fact that I prefer a Mac for doing voice work. It's easy to say a computer is a computer, but overwhelmingly for voice, people choose Apple. So let's go over the two for advantages and disadvantages. Okay, the pluses for PC versus a Mac. Most digital interfaces are compatible with Windows and Mac. Some are specifically designed for Mac. With PCs, you have more program choices, more hardware choices. With Macs, uh, fewer choices, but we'll get into that. Also, PCs are less expensive. But there's a reason the PC environment is cheaper. It's fairly disposable. The pluses for Mac versus a PC. Consistent product. You know what you're getting with a Mac. There's options, but they clearly delineate the value of the option to your situation. With PCs, Too many choices and options. Simplicity of OS. Both PCs and Macs crash, but I have found the Mac OS far more stable. Simple menus, icons, and file settings. Searching for a file is easy. It's intuitive. It really does learn your preferences and make workflow much more efficient. Viruses. This is a big one. While Macs can get infected and hacked like any computer, far fewer viruses seem to be written to attack Macs. Almost every PC sold today already has a ton of spyware and malware before you even turn it on. But the bottom line for us is, how does it help us with recording audio? Configuration. Mac. You plug it in and it works. PCs require more steps and details to set recording peripherals and software. And I'm sorry, Macs are just quieter. Now, does a Mac sound better? Eh, probably not. Audio is audio. It's how you get to getting your recordings ready to be final product that matters most. So, efficiency matters. Superior software. Now, you can argue all day about the best software, but I've used both Mac-based and PC programs, and Macs are just more efficient. Longevity. My original MacBook that I bought in 2005 is still fully operational, 
as is my five-year-old iMac. So, the choice is yours. I think when it really comes down to it, the advantages of a Mac just outweigh it. Yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it down the line. And that's my tip of the week. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, come on now. I mean, th all right. So I was having a little tongue in cheek fun with there with the with the hair dryer and stuff like that. But they really do. I mean, I had to bring my old PC back up here so I could get some of those screenshots and, of course, take pictures of the the PC. Um, you know, there's still some things I might need a PC for. Uh, but for the most part, all my editing and stuff that's done on, on, done on Mac. And, uh, but I've got total redundancy in here. I have got one, two, three, four. I have five computers in here and four of them are Macs. So, yeah. you know, I have, if something goes wrong, something goes down, you know, this is like a 747. There's nothing. This it's always going to work. <laughs> Let me show you what thing. my my favorite Mac. Well, I want to see I'm, this. I'm using my favorite Mac really right now to do the show. It's a Mac Mac uh, Mac Mini Core i7 quad core um, with a SSD inside and 16 gigs of RAM. And uh, by the way, have you guys checked how much RAM costs lately? About 50 hey. bucks. 50 bucks for 16 gigs of ram okay so no excuses <laughs> to not have enough ram this is my favorite apple now i just turned it on you heard the chime watch how long it takes to boot up this is the macbook air Ooh, uh. three two one done you're at the desktop you're working how fast i mean that is awesome <laughs> yeah. so this I mean, is a macbook air 11 inch and it weighs about two two pounds i'm holding it with two fingers and uh, it's a real Mac. It's a real computer. It'll yeah. run Windows or Mac OS. It's got a webcam in the front. Um, it's got USB on both sides and Thunderbolt, which can drive just about anything. So there you go. 11 inches. And uh, these, I think they start around 900 bucks. Right. And, and you and I are both using Mac mini servers. And those are, you know, they, they ain't cheap, but... right. You know, you turn them on and they work. You know, there's there's no delays. It they they fix it, they fix themselves. They're easy to maintain. All those sorts of things. And if you want to say a little Doug, I, I feel like we're doing an ad for Apple, but I mean, this is just these are the facts as I know them. Go to Apple. Go to store.apple.com and go to the refurb section. Scroll down to the Ooh. left hand side, way down to the bottom, and you'll see refurbished iMacs or Mac iPad and iPhone. Mm -hmm. And you can save sometimes 20, even 24%, 25%. And you're buying basically a computer that was returned one time because somebody didn't like it, or maybe there was a, a problem, returned it, they refurbished it, repackaged it, brand new warranty. It has the same warranty every other Mac does. And, uh, you know, they ship it out to you in a plain brown box. And I, I've, I've bought, I think, probably six Macs that way. And yeah. uh, it's a fantastic deal. Yeah. And then go, yeah. and, and if you really got to save money, Go buy one used. There's shops all over LA and probably most small towns have a shop that refurbishes old Macs. You can get a five or six year old Mac that's still pretty current and still can run, you know, Twisted Wave and stuff. My G4 still works. Yeah, well, you, that G4s are getting a little bit long in the tooth, but if as long as it's got it still an in, works. Yeah, as long as you get an Intel uh, processor in there, you can run almost anything now and uh, you can find those suckers for four three four hundred bucks for like a macbook so you know there are some deals out there all righty well we got a great beat, segment coming up for you beat that one to death <laughs> <laughs> where's my bat <laughs> anyway well we have big talent little voice or is it little voice big talent mm. that's a great gal coming on in just a minute lisa biggs will join us and get your raffle tickets out we'll be right back here on east west audio body shop <laughs>
Welcome back. We call it eWabs. Dan and George call it the only way to spend Sunday night. We're out. We're back. We're back. We're, we're back. Boy, it's really cold in South Carolina, isn't it? Uh, anyway, well, we're here. We can hear you, but well, do let's you want to call me on my iPad? No, because we can't no, do that. We can't do, we can't do iPad. iPad. Oh, but I'm having such a good hat day. I know. Well, well we, we have a nice. Your hat. We have a nice profile <laughs> view of you. You're very nice, right. pretty in profile. Yes, we'll, we'll work on it. If, if, that up? Yes. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the show, Lisa Biggs and sidekick for tonight, Diane Merritt. Good Hi. evening, ladies. We're having a Dexter party. It's the season yes. finale. Oh, I can't wait. I See, I always watch Dexter after the show because it's like... Wait, do you really watch Dexter too? Oh, my, my wife and I got hooked on it over the summer. We watched seven seasons in two months. Yay. Oh my gosh. Okay, are you like totally freaking out over this season? Uh, No. Oh my god! It's I, I look at it like Harry Potter. You know, it's like you get to the end. It's like ah, he'll be all right. Yeah. Oh you know. man, we are freaking out over here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't watch Dexter right now. You're on our show. No, 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 no. We're not. We're not. I okay. promise. Okay. Okay. Yeah. See, so I, I started watching it because we were watching Homeland, which is really good, and then Dexter was on after that. But we've explained this to the <laughs> audience before. Anyway, we, we, we know you're there. We can see you smiling, but um, I may, I may periodically we, just drop their call and add them back in. Maybe, maybe, we, maybe yeah. we'll get lucky. Okay. Yeah. But in the meantime, while we got you on right now for the time yes. being, um, let's talk about who is Lisa Biggs. This is the first time you've been on our show. I know. How exciting. Yes. I'm very honored. Thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, I our pleasure. Important. <laughs> Um, well, who am I? Um, yeah, I am a professional kid voice actor for the most part. Um, this is my, this is my full-time gig. Um, I do kids and characters. I've been doing voiceover for, I guess, 13 years. Um, since two years before I graduated college, I've been out of college for 11 years. What did um, you study in college? Uh, Christian education. Oh, ah. okay. Yeah, I was a professional Christian. But <laughs> I didn't make much money, so I decided to go into voiceover. And it took me a long time to make any money doing that, That's too. where they got that <laughs> saying, that's yeah, very Christian of you. That's, yes. uh, that's where it came from. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, what, that's taking a vow of poverty to right start off with. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so how, did, how did you get into voiceover then? Um, well, I mean, for obvious reasons, it seemed like a... a you know, something to consider. My voice has always been a little different, if you haven't picked up on that already. Uh, and I, I guess halfway through college, I just, I, I decided I wanted to pursue voiceover. So I started by um, studying acting. I moved to New York for two semesters and studied uh, up in Manhattan and then uh, finished college in, in Charlotte and moved to LA and lived out in LA for like six years, kind of getting my getting myself established and have been really really fortunate even though having a, a unique sound a niche voice that naturally lends itself to to stuff that is 
one would consider probably like an L.A. sound, um, I'm able to do whatever I want from wherever I want to, so. That's true. Yeah, so you move around a lot. I mean, you're in South Carolina right now. Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. I was in L.A. for seven or eight months earlier this year, but um, I I can be wherever. It doesn't really matter for me anymore, so I feel really, really lucky, really blessed. You could be in Nome. I am. I was in Nome. I was in Nome earlier this week. You were in Nome, Alaska. Oh, oh! I thought you meant like I could be a gnome. <laughs> no, no, no! I like a, <laughs> a uh, little garden gnome, gnome Aaron. No, no, a gnome, Alaska, without the G. <laughs> Although I don't really think that would work out for me very well. I don't like cold weather. Yeah. Although you sort of sound like a gnome. Oh, was, thank you. Uh, nobody's ever said anything like that before. <laughs> Did you, didn't you ever watch David the Gnome? <gasps> I did. With um, Tom Bosley? That was David, a great show. David and, um, gosh, I used to know the theme song. David and Lisa, right? David, David and, and Lisa. Lisa. That's right. That's, That's right. right. So uh, let me ask you, since you can live anywhere and you're doing, are you doing voice for animation at all? Um, you know, I do a lot of animation. I do stuff overseas. I just worked on a series um, that's coming out of Brazil. I don't know where it'll be aired. Um, but I voiced five different characters on a, on a series that is being dubbed over into English and I did it via ISDN. Um, Excellent. yeah. And so, I mean, I do a lot of stuff, you know, if I, if I need to go to LA, I can hop on a plane. It's not a big deal. Right. Um, but everything I do is, is either kids or characters. Um, I think I've been an adult twice in my entire career. <laughs> and I think it's because there was nobody else there. They're like, well, Lisa's yeah, give her a job. She's here. You so, know. so you're living proof that, <laughs> yeah, you're living proof that, um, to be in, have a career doing a uh, voices for, you know, picture and cartoons and animation, you don't necessarily have to be in Los Angeles. No, right. I mean, you have to hustle. I mean, that's, that's for, for darn sure. Um, but it, anything's possible now, especially nowadays in our industry, anything is possible. You can make, you can make this happen. Um, you just have to want it, mm-hmm. you know, and Absolutely. go for it. Yeah. yeah. You ever and get be proofed? awesome like me. Yeah. You ever get proofed? <laughs> proofed? Yeah. I mean, if you walk into a bar or something, do you get proofed? Um, is that like an, is that like a Northern term? Yeah. Yeah. It, you mean carded? Do I get carded? Carded, yes. Carded. Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm, I'm up here in the north there, you know, eh? <laughs> proofed. <laughs> <laughs> proofed. I thought we were talking about audio books for a minute. Yeah, and I <laughs> knew what you were talking about. <laughs> Thank you. See, Diane and I are from Buffalo. We know what that means. Oh, that was Diane. I got confused. I thought Lisa had a twin sister there. Uh, your voices yeah. are so similar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do get carded. I'm 32, but... um. I haven't quite caught up with my age and voice or or or, or height or anything else maturity level. <laughs> <laughs> well, think about how long for you, you think know. about how long it's a career you, you have in front of you. Yeah, you've got a long career ahead of you. I mean, uh, you know, you'll be doing you'll be able to do voices, youthful voices, you know, in your eighties and nineties, like yeah, June Ferrer. You know, and I, I'm I'm I mean, obviously, I want to take things one day at a time, but I'm I'm excited about being old because. I can only imagine how, how people will trip out. I mean, they already do. Just, you know, it, it's hard for me to go a day without someone, a complete stranger. God, what, is that your real voice? Sure. Wow, that's, you know, I mean, I get questioned about it all the time. And so when I'm older, um, well, I mean, it could be creepy. It could go either way. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I'm excited about being like that. I, I'm, I'm kind of considering being like the scary old lady in the neighborhood. <laughs> and then maybe starting a rumor that my voice is this way because I ate children. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to ask you to do your sexiest possible voice. My sexy voice? You mean go to Lady Town? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> cougar Town. Yeah. yeah. Can you this, do a cougar voice? You know, the only voice that I really have that lends itself to that mm-hmm. kind of uh, range um, could work for radio imaging. Mm. Uh, let me see. I got to read something. Uh Kleenex. I'm reading the Kleenex box. I gotta read something. I can't just do it. I have to read ice. Oh, here we go. Icebreakers. Ultimate mouth freshening. See, but it still sounds like chip monkey. Right, right. You know what would be really fun? You know what would be funny? Because, you know, people are going to say, you you and helium? You should carry, you should wear like a little, I don't know. 
this is my twisted sense of humor. You should have like a, a, a like a little lapel pin or a hat pin that's a helium tank or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, I don't know. Guys. Sorry. Oh, guys. Yeah, uh, some, I, I heard some professor this week in England was saying, we're using helium kids in in, in, in a hundred years ago. You used up that precious element yeah, for exactly. balloons. <laughs> for balloons, exactly. Jeez. Hey, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reconnect you guys. So let's see if we can get Lisa and their. Let's see if we can get their video back. Okay. Yeah, we'll call right. you right back. Okay, it's just Stop a bummer going. that they have to be frozen. I know. All right, let's try one yeah. more. At least you could be like face on to the camera here. Yeah, let me add them to the call and see. Oh, what okay. Happens. One more time. Yes. Not Hello? quite. It's a, uh, we hear them. Is that working? We, we're getting the little spinny thing. A little let's spinny thing. Yay! Look! Look in the camera. So if you freeze, at least you're looking in the right. camera. Look right at the camera. Right. But we'll and keep smile. Look into, at the camera into. and smile. So we have a freeze frame. There we go. All right. <laughs> you're still moving. No, 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 no! Don't look at you. Into still the camera. moving. <laughs> into the camera. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, oh, oh! Hopefully it'll freeze just like that. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Anyway. Are we still moving? You're still moving. Still moving. Just. Yeah. Get the yeah, blue you, thing? yeah. Yeah. It does look like you're on like the International Space Station, but other mm-hmm, than that, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> so just start start floating around. So, Foxy Ladies. Yes. Yeah. What is Foxy Ladies? You know, we get an awful lot of stuff on Facebook and these other things, and it's like Foxy Ladies, Foxy Lady, Foxy Lady. But what is this? <laughs> what is going on there? We're spreading the well, word. Well, like at the moment, what is going on with us? Yeah. Well, give us a little bit of the rundown. A little background. A little background. How you, well, how you guys um, got this I, going? <laughs> I created Voxy Ladies. Uh, I mean, the kind of the concept came to me, I guess, about two years ago. Um, but we really hit the ground running about a year and a half ago. And we're simply a collective of professional voice talent. We're all women. Um, it, it's kind of a marketing collective. Um, I've, I guess I've have, I guess that, what would you say? I'm, I'm hyper creative. <laughs> <laughs> I am, but I'm hyperactive and I'm creative. And so, you know, it, it's been a great outlet for me, um, to be able to use my gifts as far as being, you know, I'm pretty good with marketing and branding and all that stuff. Um, and I have, uh, a lot of. <laughs> But I have an over, overactive imagination. <laughs> yeah, if you've seen any of her videos, you know. Yeah, it's the, yeah. <laughs> They're freaking hilarious. Yeah, the Santa Claus one so, was funny. No, it, I like I mean, it really started as kind of a marketing yeah. machine, um, just because I, I've had, you know, several people come to me and ask for help with, with just kind of that side of their business. And, and I thought, well, you know, I should create something where we actually, you know, everyone brings their strength to the table and then we move forward together. However, you know, the individuals are also showcased, but we are a, a, a boutique, kind of a quasi agency, kind of a, 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 we're just a showcase of female voice talent. And so, I mean, we do a lot of grassroots marketing and we do inbound marketing, direct marketing, all that stuff. Um, and so we kind of run it kind of like a quasi agency, but nobody makes a commission or anything. Um, we have a, a teeny little budget every month. We have uh, all the girls, we all put, like 20 bucks a month into a PayPal account. And that's our budget cool. for the month. Um, it's like a co-op. And, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, and so, uh, and then it just, you know, we, we started, you know, because we're all girls and, and, you know, we all have a heart for not that men don't, but you know, we do like have a heart for, for helping others. It just kind of took on a life of its own in that, in that respect, in that we just, found all these opportunities to give back. And so that's been kind of, for me, that's been the most exciting and rewarding part of, of having this group of girls um, that we can just, we just, you know, we're determined and we're driven and, and, and we've just been so blessed to be able to make a living in, in this industry that um, we found a, a vehicle that we can, so we can give back. Excellent. Now you yeah. guys were also sort of sponsored the, the big mixer in New York last week. Yeah, we co-sponsored um, uh, Eric's Mixer. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't there. I'm in a play right now. Uh, and so, yeah, and we've been, it's a, it runs for five weeks. And so I wasn't able to go. What? Is something happening? What's happening? 
Sorry. What? Hold on what? just a second. No. Okay, well, we, we can wait. Oh! Sorry. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, it went really well. Uh, the, the mixer in New York, uh, from what I heard, it went really well. There was over 300 people there, and, mm. and everyone had a great, great time. So fun. Yeah. Yeah. Were, so, yeah that's we right. Put, you were there. I, I missed it. Yeah. I wanted to be there. You too. What, 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 what play? Me too. I was so sad. <laughs> yeah. What play are you doing right now? Um, it's Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street, and I play Little Susan Walker. No. I do. <laughs> um, it's been really, really fun. It's been, it's really been a blast. We started on Thanksgiving Day, and we run until December twenty second. Um, and so it's been a lot of fun. I try to do at least one show a year last year i didn't do anything and i did two shows the year before that um just because it you know it keeps me on my toes as far as being an actor which for me in in the character voiceover world that's that's the most important piece of of what i do is being able to to is being a good actor so yeah so i do i love being on stage and if you can't tell i do love attention (laughs) no. <laughs> <laughs> up on that yet. Yes. Actually, well, let's let's monster. let's direct yeah, let's direct the attention right. away a little bit here. Uh, <laughs> are, 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 are are we like are we prepared to do our, our the uh, the raffle? Yes, we are. Wait, we got wait, some wait. great stuff. Tell it first. Tell us what what it's all about. Yes. Okay. So Joe Cipriano called us a couple of weeks ago and asked for our help to promote the album that he and the Primetime Voices guys and girls produced and so i thought you know we can do better than that we can help you sell the crap out of this thing um because all the money goes to the mattel children's hospital and so um we we're facilitating a online raffle it's a virtual raffle and i mean we have been overwhelmed with support uh from just uh, almost 30 different sponsors um, giving us stuff to give away. And so the, the kinda, it kind of works like this. People download the album from Primetime Voices. They then forward the receipt to VO at VoxyLadies.com. That's our email address. And then we enter their name into a raffle. It's very official. I put their name on a little piece of paper. <laughs> and we put it in our super nifty raffle mixer here. <laughs> and their name, and we give them really cool stuff. So ah, well, uh, let's draw right. the first number. Win, Do, play on, America. <laughs> we have our lovely assistants. Yes, to help with this. Hey, lovely indeed. Yes. You guys want to take three? Yeah, sure. Come All on. right. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah, first. Sure. This first will be going for. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Wait, don't read the name yet. Um, this we are, we're giving away three things tonight. We're giving away uh the Apogee mic. Um, courtesy of Joe Cipriano and the guys from Primetime Voices, we are giving away a meet and greet and two private voiceover coaching sessions with Dean Panero or Panaro from Abrams Artist Agency. And we are giving away from you, George, an hour studio console. Oh, really? Awesome. Yeah. I hope so, I win. So uh, we'll start with you. We'll start with George. So this name... <laughs> Uh, the, the person on this piece of paper will win a one-hour studio consult with George. So, who is it? Cliff Zellman. <gasps> oh, oh, the Zellster! Zellman? That's awesome! <laughs> I love Zellman, that. you don't need my help. <laughs> You're free. You know this stuff better than I do, man. Okay, uh. so this next one will be uh, for the meet and greet and two private voiceover coaching sessions with Dean from Abrams. So who's on the who's on the piece of paper? Magnificent Mike. Magnificent Yay. Mike. Nice. Magnificent Mike. All right. Yeah. Congratulations. And, and if they're not watching the show, then we'll let them know. I, I promise. Yeah, you do not have to be present to win. Right. Let's give this thing a really good mix. This last drawing will be for a brand new Apogee mic. The one that plugs into your iPhone or iPad. It's a pretty awesome, awesome little mic. And, and, and it's a great USB mic too. Yeah. It is. Gina Marie. Gina Marie. <laughs> you got a brand new Appetit Night. Oh my and gosh, she's... this is so exciting. This is way cooler than doing it at home by myself. And I sure hope she has a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to love it. Great microphone. There are rumors yeah. that it could work on Windows, so plug it in. It's in. You just, never just know. See what happens. Yeah. You never know. We have a 
ton more stuff to give away. And so, I mean, the 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 raffle is still open. Um, if anyone wants to enter, we're still giving away. We've got an iPad Mini. <gasps> we have um uh, a fully produced voiceover demo from Chuck Duran. Oh my gosh! <laughs> ah! Oh, Chuck Duran! I know. <laughs> it's kind of a bummer that, that we can't enter. I know. Time to sign um, up. I mean, we've got really cool stuff. We have a one-hour private voiceover coaching session with Rob Paulson. Sweet. Um, oh, geez. Yeah, we have really big stuff. It's on our event page, roxyladies.com slash events, and we have a list of everything that we're giving away. Um, and we will be raffling off at Voxmas Presents until December 24th when we will raffle off our grand prize of a fully produced demo from VO Buzz Weekly and Chuck Duran. So it's very exciting. Um, it is. And and if anyone's watching and has participated in the raffle and has downloaded the album, thank you so much. Um, like we've just been overwhelmed from from sponsors, people that want to give to this to this promotion, and from people that are participating in it because a hundred percent of the proceeds go to the Mattel Children's Hospital. And and just thank you so much, really. Our pleasure. Yeah. Man. I love you guys. You got every yeah. event I ever go to that has Foxy ladies involved just becomes far more fun and interesting. You guys were at the poker classic and it was yes, a blast. Right. You guys had the photo booth with the costumes. Yes. It was hilarious. Yeah. So fun. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Yay. So that's, that's that. And is anybody, you. Uh, are you Thanks on the chat room? There's yes. some questions. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, we do have some questions. Catherine here said, where did she, where did you play a gnome? <laughs> Because you said that you did play one. No. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh! It was for um. Oh my gosh! A client in Canada. What was that for? I don't even know what. You know what? This is what it's like. I. I. You would think I was like eighty-two, not thirty-two. <laughs> I'm like, like I. I forget sometimes. Um, sure. I know. Until they don't. Until they're like late. And until it's like ninety days and they haven't paid. Then I sure remember. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you sure I do. <laughs> no, it was for. I don't really even know what it was for. It's a guy that I work with a lot. Um, an animator um, in Canada, and uh, an app? I don't think so. I think it was. Maybe he's watching. Maybe he'll chime in. I don't yeah, know. never either. Yeah, yeah. it's been, it's been th these this last couple of weeks between the play and Voxmas and and everything. I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm a little scattered. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is crazy yeah. time. It is. It really is. I told Diane, I was like, if I ever, ever get the brilliant idea to agree to a five a, a show that runs for five weeks during the holidays, talk you please, out of it. <laughs> please, like, knock me out, knock some sense into me. It's 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 a lot. I mean, I people that do professional theater as their gig. Oh my gosh, my hat is off to them. I mean, it's a huge commitment. It and is. It's just it it zaps you completely. Yeah. So, but it's been a really fun show. And if anyone is close by Greenville, South Carolina, we run until the 22nd. And I don't want to like, you know, toot my own horn, but my monkey is in the show and my monkey is amazing. Do the monkey. You want me to do the monkey? Do the, please do do the monkey. <laughs> please do the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> If my daughter was in the room right now, she would be laughing hysterically. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my monkey has Tony Award written all over it. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Anthony Geddick says, w your reaction to the dudes doing, what is it, Vox Stars? Do you have oh, any reaction yeah. to this? That, yeah, Dave is, is wonderful. Dave has really, he, he actually, he called me, um, I guess, six months ago. And said, hey, I love what you guys are doing with Voxy Ladies. We, I would love to do something similar. How do you do what you do? Like, what is, you know, what's it like behind the scenes? So I gave him, you know, I gave him some some tips. And I said, you know, this is how we run our show. And this is what it looks like. And it's it's a bit, I mean, it's a huge undertaking. I mean, I, I love, you know, I, I, I'm, I just feel blessed to know all these women at like just just to know them and then to get to work with them and then to interact with them um through voxy ladies has been has been great but it's a lot of work yeah. um, i can imagine it's a lot of work to do this show we only have to coordinate three people or yeah, four. Really. i mean it's it's but it's been great and and you know we've got some really big things coming up next year 
Um, and so, and you know, I've definitely got a vision for the group. Um, sometimes it does feel a little like we're flying by the seat of our pants. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, I do, you know, have a vision, and 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 I fully intend to. I mean, that's just the thing, like about these girls that, like, for whatever reason, we're like, yeah, sure, I'll be a part of this thing that you're doing. I don't really know what it is, but yeah, sign me up. <laughs> I mean, when you get that many women together. And with the kind of determination that we have, like, individually and as a collective, like, the sky is the limit. And so yeah. it's, it's really exciting. And, and the future is, is going to be pretty exciting for us, too. Yeah. How many gals you got with you right now? Uh, did, well, did, well, on the roster, we have 25. Yeah. 25. <laughs> Any, anybody yeah. we would know? Yeah. Oh, I mean, some <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We actually, we, we contributed to Jeff Gelder's CD. Um which was pretty awesome. I don't know if anybody has listened to what we did on that, but um, we contributed um, a story that was written by Phil Lawler. Um, oh. He's incredible. We we had, um, you know, I'd spoken to Jeff at Voice in June and said, oh, you know, we'd really love to contribute to the CD this year. And then, you know, I mean, it, it was due, I think, August 15th was like the deadline. And, See, you know, he was at Voice. Yeah, he was. What? Yeah. And, um, it was, you know, it was like Monday and the deadline was that Thursday and we still had, I hadn't found any original content or anything for us to, you know, pull together and, and so we could submit and it just came together kind of at the last minute. Um, we were able to uh, contact uh, Phil Lawler who wrote an original story about Patches the Bear, which is an organization that we've been really involved with. Since before, well, I've been involved with before Voxy Ladies, but, um, you know, as the Voxy Ladies, we've really gotten behind um, Patch's kids and, and plan to continue cultivating that relationship with him and, and doing some really big stuff. Uh, and so uh, we, we reached out to Phil, God bless him. And I was like, <laughs> hey, I was like, uh, so we need an original story for this holiday magic CD and 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 we were hoping that you would help us write it. And by help us, I mean you would write it. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, I, I, I can do that. And I was like, great. Well, okay, so, like, we don't have a budget. <laughs> How many times have we <laughs> heard this in our business, you know? And then, of course, I was like, and by the way, it's Monday, and we need it by Thursday. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, Oh my gosh, like if anyone if you listen to the that the C D and, and we'll put it on our Facebook page maybe tonight after Dexter. Priorities first. <laughs> we got our priorities straight. Absolutely. Um, can, can you do your monkey one more time? I have my daughter Ella here and, and I need their her approval. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That was good. <laughs> What do you think, Ella? What do you hey, think? Do you like her monkey sound? No. <laughs> oh, well, so much for that. Well, we, oh, out of the mouths of babes. <laughs> Ella, do your monkey. Coming out this spring, and mm -hmm. one of the toys is a monkey. Mm -hmm. And um, I when I went into my session, that was kind of what I auditioned with because I'm like, oh yeah, a monkey. <laughs> you know. And um, when I got the session, of course, there's, you know, how that goes. There's, like, five producers and a bunch of, I mean, everybody's in, like, everybody's invited to the party when you're recording. Oh, man, <laughs> And yeah. they were like, yeah, that was great. We loved your audition, but um, that's kind of Planet of the Apes, and this is a toy for kids. <laughs> so, so, but, so the monkey that'll be on stores, I don't know, probably this spring sometime. I have a bunch of toys coming out. Um does not sound like that, but that is my monkey for Miracle on 34th Street. And um, it's it's pretty fun. I do it, you know, every night of the show. And it's fun to, to watch uh, our older members of the audience wake up when my <laughs> monkey comes out to play, <laughs> including my dad. I mean, my parents came to the show last weekend and I told all the cast members, I was like, this is where my dad will be sitting. Watch, he'll be, he'll be asleep within five minutes. Like he just will be. <laughs> and then so they were all watching my dad and I said, watch him when my monkey comes out just because I, I can't really see. And then they said, my, <laughs> my poor dad. <laughs> <laughs> it was my dad, my mom and one of my nephews. Two of my nephews were there. And at one point I looked up and three out of four of them were asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, yeah. 
Yeah, you're not supposed to watch the audience. <laughs> you're supposed to pay attention to what you're doing on stage. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but mom, you know, with dad's out there, you got to do that. I mean, it's, I know. It's, we all do that. <laughs> well, there's one last question. I want to honor yeah. the last question. Another voice yeah. says, did you have to learn to like your voice? Or, or, and yeah, how do really other kids exactly. react to it? Really excellent question. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, I hated my voice. I hated it. Yeah. I mean, for the longest time, I was, yeah, you know, I was bullied all through middle school, high school, even in college, and 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 even as really? an adult, people can people pick on me, and and every now and then, I feel the teen angst, the residual Ugh. teen angst come out. But yeah, I used to hate the way I sounded. Oh, I hated it. Mm. I mean, I I wanted I wanted it to be different. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. I I thought there was something wrong with me. Um, when really it's a birth defect. If we're gonna be completely honest, I have a birth defect. Mm-hmm. Um. Honestly, like, um, and, um, yeah, no, I did. I had to learn to like it. Um, and, and now I love it. I mean, it's, it's a part of me. It's That's right. Thing. Right. It's so, like taking, taking lemons and making lemonade. Yeah. You're just exactly, your career. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it used to feel like a curse, but now I do know that it's, it's a, blessing. a blessing. Yeah. Well, you're a blessing to have amongst us, Lisa. We're oh, always, yeah. it's oh, always, it's always it's fun to be around with you. Uh, and, and we are so glad that we could have you on the show tonight. <laughs> We're always glad to have Diana. She's now she's been on in a couple of. She's been in here. She's been now. She gets to be on from her studio. Uh, but it's it's wonderful to have you on. And and the Voxy Ladies things is great. And the Voxmas <laughs> thing has been been a great promotion. And we really love having you on. And of course, we'll have you again <laughs> soon. And uh, thanks for being with us. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> Go download the album and you can be entered into the raffle. And then while you're at it, buy Jeff Gelder's CD because both are for incredible causes. And where do you download the album one more time? Uh, you can, The Primetime Voices album is on CD Baby. But if you go to our events page, voxyladies.com slash events. There's a link there. A link. Yeah, we've got right all the Yeah, and then Jeff Gelder's CD is holidaymagiccd.org. Yeah, we're going to talk about that in a minute, actually. Yeah, yeah. Jeff's going to yeah. be on here. So, Yay! anyway. Awesome. All right. Thanks, ladies. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. You'll, maybe Thank we'll you see you next Christmas. week. All righty. Bye bye. Lisa Biggs Bye-bye. with sidekick Diane Merritt. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back here on East West Audio Body Show. VoiceOver Extra, the voiceover industry's online news, education, and resource center 24-7. Hundreds, probably thousands of free how-to articles for voiceover success, ranging from home studio to voice acting to business. A free voiceover industry directory, calendar of industry events, resource links, a store, and much more. Bi-monthly webinars on all topics of voiceover, free subscriptions to newsletters, reports, announcements, daily news, and features at voiceoverextra.com. This is East West Audio Body Shop, where Dan and George don't speak geek. No, we don't. We try to make it understandable for you yeah. guys. I get to. I, I like to geek occasionally. You know, I like, we got a few geeks that enjoy that, but you know, we try right. to keep it keep it limited, right? Because voiceover isn't about being a geek. Voiceover is yeah. about being. You know, like Lisa is. I mean, being a, a you know, being an entertainer and yeah. being a a performer. You don't want to have to worry about you know all these you know all all the wires and stuff like that. I mean, this you don't need this stuff. You don't, you don't have to understand that stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We that's, still on. I I unplug something. No, you, you didn't unplug anything important. So that's that's good. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll remember to keep you out of my hotel, or my, my my hospital room when I'm hooked up to all these machines. Let's see here. <laughs> I can play with that button there. Oh, yeah, man. We've, we've been in the same hotel room. Trust me. We yes, we play. have. <laughs> and moving on. Moving um, on. <laughs> Let's move on to voiceover essentials. Our great friend Harlan Hogan has decided once again, to sign on with us here at East West Audio Body Shop because he's a smart guy. He knows where his audience is, the people that buy his stuff. They mm-hmm. love our show, and they love his online store, VoiceOver Essentials, because he's got great stuff. Great thing to have. We'll start off here. 
look at the VO1A, a magnificent voiceover mark, Mike, designed by Harlan Hogan himself, the dean of voiceover guys. This is a great sounding mic. You know, and I'm sure people who are out there in the chat room who uh, I'm sure there are people out there that have one and they know what a great microphone it is. Makes it real easy to uh, you hook it up, use it with a with a, uh, a mic port pro. And it's stunningly fab- fabulous. And there's some good sa- uh, audio samples right on the website. Just scroll down and you can check out the audio player and hear what hey, it sounds there's, like there's, in context. There's my picture yeah, right, there's next, Dan, right next to Harlan. Harlan, Linda Ristig. Uh, yeah, several different people are, are comparing it. I think, I yeah, I did one uh, comparing it to, I, I wanted to compare it to a venerable voiceover mic. So I compared it to the Neumann U87. And I recorded and? It, both mics side by side, same channel strip, everything in a in a professional studio, um, and uh, it was pretty eerily similar to the U eighty seven. I have to say, <laughs> so it's it's quite a, quite a, quite a great sounding mic. And uh, again, and Harlan takes care of his customers really well. I've heard the occasional I dropped my mic or whatever. And between Harlan and uh, MXL's uh, customer service and warranty programs and stuff they really that mic is going to last a long time because they're going to yeah. keep they're going to take care of it yeah it's a great it's a great mic and plus he's got lots of other great stuff there besides you know like the mic port pro but he's also got some new stuff he was telling me he's got new stuff coming out i can't tell you what it is oh you're in on the loop in the loop i am I, out of I, the loop i'm totally on the loop. sweet I'm, I'm totally in the loop with with harlan he's he was like i got this and he showed it to me he said you can't tell anybody oh. about it but I've got it. So we'll have him on in January. We'll cool. keep it short with him this time though. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, we'll limit him to like 15 stories. <laughs> right. And, uh, <laughs> and, and he will, he will announce his new stuff and it's great stuff. You're going to love it. So, uh, cool. uh, go over to voiceoveressentials.com to get your stuff and you can get your voiceover recording sign like mine back here. And like George, you have one too, right? I do. Oh, even though you don't do much voiceover, that's right, like none. But you can like hang none. it on Ella. You can hang it on Ella's. Door. No, actually, I gave it to a client as a gift. Ah, yeah, good I don't gift. have any. Good man, good man, good mm-hmm. man. Uh, so anyway, voiceoveressentials.com. Be there, go there, buy his stuff. It's the best stuff on earth for voiceover. Thanks, Arlen. Voiceover, thank you very much, Harlan. Thanks for your loyalty from the very from the absolute get go. Absolutely, absolutely. Now there were some other announcements before we get into this interview with uh, Jeff Gelder. But was there anything we missed? Oh, I'm going to be at uh, World Voices Toronto on May fourth. Right, right. I think we mentioned that last week. Uh, we do want. Uh, we do need more sponsors. Like us on Facebook, please. Like us on Facebook, please. Like us on like us anywhere, but like us on Facebook uh, and subscribe on YouTube as well. Yes. Absolutely, because that way you can get any one of the episodes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Any one of them. Now 75. So uh, This and, is our 75th anniversary. <laughs> yeah. It's inv- unbelievable. Unbelievable. How, so, did, how did that ever happen? My goodness. It's, yeah, it's mind-blowing. And if you do have a, a mini pop stop or when you get one, please, we'd love to get your feedback. I especially would love to hear what you think of it and uh, sh- share a photo or a sound sample. Show us how you're using it in your studio, and we'd love to feature it on the show. And, uh, you know, because this, this isn't just an experiment. We really do want this to be a product that gets, uh, you know, much wider distribution. But we just want to make sure you guys are all happy with it before. So Absolutely. Absolutely. All righty. Well. Let's we share that interview. interview. Let's, Catherine Curridan, take it away. Here you go. Okay, I have Jeff Gelder here from San Diego, voice artist, voice actor, voice talent. How many years, Jeff? <laughs> uh, I've been a voice talent for, gosh, I'm hard to say, like 20, 20 years, I think, and radio DJ for almost 30 years. Whoa, yeah. and you started when you were like 10 years I, old. It's about 10, yes, I know. I actually started my radio career when I was 22 in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And then you also, this year, you've been president of the Media Communications Association International in San Diego, the San Diego chapter. Yeah. And how long have you been involved in the group? I've actually been involved with the group probably about um, maybe seven years. And I've been actually on the board for five years and the president for the last, I believe, four, three to four years. So yeah. there are chapters all over the country. And this is probably what other VO people should be doing is getting involved with them. It's a good place to uh, to uh, network for sure. It's mostly video people, 
But of course, video and film producers need voice talent. So it's a wonderful oh. place to network and at least get yourself known. And every month they have a meeting with a, a it's an educational meeting. So there's always some type of topic that often applies to voice people that we can learn from. So it's a, it's a very beneficial group. That's great. Wow. And then, speaking of a beneficial group, your Holiday Magic CD. Tell yeah. me about that. If CD right here. This is this year's. Can you see it? Holiday Magic. There with Santa Claus. Yes. Yeah. This is a project I started. Um, this is actually our 10th anniversary, which I'm amazed. It's 10 continued. years. Congratulations. Thanks. It started with a, a course that I took through a company called Landmark Education, which is a growth and development, personal growth and development courses. And the course tasked me with creating a project, and that it needed two elements. One, to take on a life of its own, eventually, and two, to enhance the community. So I was kind of delving into my background of radio and music. Wow. And a lot of friends who are artists, who are you know singers and songwriters and that, but had no way to, no outlet, because record companies... You know, weren't interested in them. Radio won't play you if you're not signed with a record company. So I thought, what a great way to they can get on a CD. We can create a little contest and have fun with it, and then eventually produce a CD and take it to the kids. I thought how sad that a lot of kids have to spend their holidays in the hospital, and it also I've found over the years affects their siblings who feel often neglected because the parents' oh, sure. time is all given to the child, and then to the parents. And um, the visits to the hospital we do in San Diego are really best for the parents because it gives them 20 minutes, a half an hour break. And they're the ones who need the, the break. The kids are like, you give them a CD and they're so happy and they've got their oxygen tanks and their chemotherapy with them. And you know, it doesn't matter. They're so resilient. And now, you're just, not just doing this in San Diego, right? It started in San Diego here okay. at the Rady Children's Hospital. And then now we're in um, 26 different hospitals around the country and also Singapore, and then this year we've added two hospitals in London. So I'm very wow. happy to be international now. So you have a contact, I take it, in Singapore and in London. Um, we've had referrals, so to speak, in a friend oh, wow. of Holiday Magic that had someone that knew someone in a hospital or said, hey, I want our hospital to get your CDs, and I love that. So I'll ask for us to get a contact name and an address, and we contact the hospital, make sure it's okay to send them there, find the address, and we, we usually just ship them to them. Our next goal is to be able to do like we do in San Diego is go to every hospital and sing and be with the kids and actually hand them out personally if it's us or if it's you know a different contingent in each city that maybe one leader takes it on. A voice talent, Pearl Hewitt, is in Houston. Sure. And she, you know, Pearl, maybe she's taken on the first one. Last year she gathered a dozen of her, I think it was her son's friends, high school age. She made T-shirts that had our logo or our CD cover on them. Oh, great! And they went to the hospital and one played guitar, and they went room to room and sang to the kids. And it's a much more personal event when you do that. And in fact, we did it here yesterday, and that's my Christmas day. It's just like now I'm relaxed and happy, and you know, it's all good. And it's real Christmas all of a sudden. Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. You know, when you see those kids, and they're just they're going through what they're going through, and it's sad, but they're just so resilient and. They have fun in the moment, and we spend three hours with them singing and playing and having fun, and wow. it just makes my year. That's Where wonderful. else are the? Tell me the other hospitals or the other towns. Okay, so. a list. Um, we have um, several in California. We have Orange County, Los Angeles, Palo Alto. We go San Francisco, Oakland. We have Albuquerque, New Mexico. We have New Orleans, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, New York, Miami. Uh, let's see, Rhode Island. Uh, St. Louis, I'm sure I'm probably forgetting a couple, but pretty much spread all over. Sounds like we could get Dan Leonard to get into the Buffalo Children's Hospital. Hey, that'd be terrific. Yeah. We could use some upstate New York. My folks are from upstate New York, and we'd love to get to get up in there. Yeah. Oh, okay, perfect. Let's see. And I think George is from Wisconsin, but I think you already mentioned Wisconsin. We have Milwaukee. was actually the second hospital we started delivering to. Yeah. Oh, wow. I have a cousin who lives there, and he connected us. So now tell me um, where people can find a lot of information is through Facebook, right? Facebook, or we actually have our own webpage as well. So the webpage is holidaymagiccd.org. And then the Facebook page would be the same, Facebook forward slash, or Facebook, yeah, facebook.com forward slash holidaymagiccd.org. Well, let me get the CD. We have um, uh, Lance DeBach from, the, I believe, the New Jersey area, the Voxy Ladies. Everybody knows Lisa, of Lisa Biggs. 
Yeah. And the two ladies, they did Patches the Bear story, written by Phil Lawler, which is an amazing, fun story for kids about the Patches the Bear. Uh, let's see, we had uh, Pearl Hewitt did Pinky and Turbo Bird, which is a third edition of her story that she's been on the last three years. Uh, let's see, we had uh, Glenn Haskell, also, um, who else much you know, Tim Keenan and uh, James Alberger. We know oh, those sure. names. Of course, they volunteer their studios and their production time to help anyone oh, that's great. producing. So we have so much gifted talent. Um, who else do we have? Adam Hainan from San Francisco area did a Hanukkah story. Perfect. So we, we generally have uh, something in Spanish also. This year we had Feliz Navidad, or Jingle Bells in Spanish. Um, we had uh, a man from London, Jay Britton, did the Carol Singer story, which was wonderful. And it just really, really great. I mean, do you do other, other... Here we go. We're back. All righty. Well, Kathy, that was an excellent interview with uh, Jeff Gelder, and, and I, I hear it's a wonderful CD. And uh, where did he say you can get it? HolidayMagicCD.org. That's where you get it. All right. All righty. Well, I think we've come to the end of the road this week. Um, and, and we still got, oh, there was one other thing we forgot to tell you about. Hmm. We're still doing the best of show on the oh, 20th. Yeah. That is on the 30th, I believe. Yes, that's what I'll be doing between, uh, you know, Christmas and New Year's. I'll be cutting yes. the show together. So I, I'm, I'm going to help you with that. I got some ideas of how we can do this. Okay, cool, it's, cool. This, we've got, we, people have been sending in uh, our best of shows and we want to hear from you. What were the best segments? Well, listen, we've done 75 episodes of this, you know. You know, I mean, some of the stuff we just did with uh, with Lisa. I mean, that's that was worth its weight in gold. There, there, we've got a lot of awesome uh, ideas from the last twenty five. Go back and just yeah, it's go some, back some and watch something stuff. from the twenties or something, and just cherry pick the, out the, something funny. The first episode, or yeah, there's Where, probably I'm wearing something. the black shirt and I'm this floating black head. <laughs> yeah. There's got to be something from the first episode. So here's what I ask everybody. Send it if you if just even if everybody picks one clip, you know that would be awesome. One clip. Just tell us the episode and the time, and that's all I ask. If you can give me that, it's going to make this job go much easier. It's going to be the show that you guys are going to build, and it's going to be it's going to be a huge blast. So please do uh, contribute, and we'll take your contributions um, basically until the next show, until uh, the next week's show, until Google Hangouts. That'll be the cutoff. Yes. And speaking of contributions, it we're not doing this show for nothing. We still have to pay you stream and uh we I I have made a decision, not that I'm totally in charge, but I don't ever want to have any other national spots on here unless they're paying us national <laughs> spot rates to because we have a million or two people million watching watching us. Instead, we have this wonderful niche little audience that joins us every week. We know you appreciate the information we bring you. If you could help us out just a little bit, a few alms for the poor here. A couple you of know, shekels. That's right. You know, I can I can ring my little bell here, you know, and you can you can put that, it in the that is a little bell. That is a tiny little bell. <laughs> That's a cat bell. No, actually, if I told you what this is, you'd go, you thought of that? <laughs> Remember Celia Siegel? Uh-huh. The, the wonderful uh, voiceover manager in, in Minneapolis. She has these. She gave out these great um, uh, uh, thumb drives, and this is the top of the thumb drive, but I thought I'd ring it as a little bell. You know, ding, ding. So, so go to ewebs.com <laughs> and click on the, on the donate, donate button. button, please. Please, thank you guys. We, we Many really of you contributed. It. I can't even begin to. I mean, you guys have been so wonderful to help this show keep moving forward, and uh, we want to keep it as you know slick and smooth, and keep the production values up. So uh, thanks right. again. And we won't ask you again till our hundred and fiftieth episode. Right? Yeah, no, fat not, chance. Not, not gonna happen. <laughs> fat chance. <laughs> yes. Thank you again. Yes. Well, anyway, that's, I think that's all for this week. And actually, I think this is the last time you and I will actually be on. Well, let's see. We'll be on next week for our Google Hangout party. Mm -hmm. Remember to sign up for that. And uh, I'll be serving Cosmos here. Nice. I, I have an actual cocktail shaker and I will be making Cosmos. Very cool. Should be interesting by the end of the evening. Uh, and then we've got our best show on the uh, best of show on the on the 30th and then it'll be 2013 if if we make it past the 21st that's right where you are know, you going to be on the 21st Dan? i'm going to be right here because 
I, I, I think I was telling you, I saw this program. Uh, they were talking about the Mayan uh, 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 legend and the, the yeah. Mayan prophecy. And yeah. they're in Guatemala and they're talking to these women in some market who are a, you know, Mayan descendants. And like, what do you think of the Mayan prophecy? And they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Would you like a cucumber? You know, uh, it was, I saw, I saw a funny cartoon. It was, uh, you know, it was like a scene where the, uh, the, 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 the artist, you know, the sculptor who was making that calendar, he walks up to the chief and he says, uh, I ran out of room. I could only make it to December 21st, 2012. And the chief says, that's going to freak him out. (laughs) It was very funny. Yeah. And that asteroid missed us by 4 million miles. It wasn't even close. <sighs> Thank gosh. Not there won't be another one, but yeah, yeah that one missed us. That, well, yeah, that one missed us. The lasers anyway, will get the next one. That's right. So we'll be here <laughs> next week and um, it'll be fun. Uh, we'll have a great party next week. And uh, and uh, let's see, what else is there? We have to thank people. We got lots of people we have to thank. Well, we have to thank Catherine for her interview and the tireless work she does mm-hmm. getting this show together every single week. And our spouses mm-hmm. who put up with this week after week after week. Spend extra you, time with watching Ella when I should be watching her myself. So uh, thank you, Amy. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least she's in preschool now. You get, at least yeah. she has, you guys have some time to Three yourself. Three and a half hours per morning of bliss, of oh. work. But bliss. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, and um, and who else do we need to thank? We need to thank, of course, Jason Lawson for the yep. show notes. Mm-hmm. And who else? Our John, sponsors. John Florian from Vox. John, Voice John Over Extra. Voice Over Extra. Always make sure you're there. And hey, how did your thing go with the uh, Voice Over Extra this week with, uh, uh, with uh, really, Charles? Yeah, the uh, the webinar on uh, recording for uh, Voice Over uh, or for uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Boy, it's been a long show. Uh, for Audio ACX works. editing and recording. Yeah. Uh, I think it went really well. I, I got some good feedback. Um, you know, I I didn't go in with a webinar that was just about the basics. I was like, here here are some really, I think, innovative things you can try. So some people were probably like, what? And other people were like, sweet, you know? So, but yeah, and it was awesome. We had 150, I think 159 people on this webinar. Wow. So I was blown away at the at the uh at the participation on this one and we did half and half uh teaching and then the other half um q a and we went for another extra extra 15 minutes because the questions just kept coming in but uh it was really great and uh i had a good time i was nervous (laughs) when when he told me how many people my hands were clammy uh but it was (laughs) it was great Yes, I told you it would be fun. Uh, thank you, Jody. You rock. Uh, and, um, and Dan, you froze. That's bizarre. I froze? <laughs> you froze. It's perfectly sharp, and it, and you're just sort of looking a little uh, forlorn. Forlorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. With anyway, that. <laughs> well, and with that, it's now 1030 here in the East and 630 or whatever it is in the West. And, uh, 730. No, 730. 730. 730. I, I lost a time zone there. Anyway, <laughs> I'm Dan Leonard in the East. And I'm George Woodham in the West. And together we are East West, West Audio Body, Body Shop. Shop. We'll see you next week, everybody. Have a good one. Ciao. Happy holidays.